All right, welcome back to The Exchange. There are some growing signs of a slowdown in jobs. Jobless claims last week, up. Private payroll growth dropped last month. UPS just said it's laying off 12,000 people. And, of course, there have been tens of thousands of job cuts in technology lately. All of this coming ahead of tomorrow's jobs number. So let's talk about trends in jobs and hiring and bring in Recruiter.com chairman Evan Soam. Evan, good to have you back on the program. I referenced in the tease going to break, is it merely because the calendar? What I mean by that is we often tend to see a lot of layoffs at the beginning of a year. Co companies can then sort of adjust their books on the earlier side. Do you view this more as a January specific trend that'll that'll slow down or are we could we expect a growth in more layoffs the remainder of the year? Uh, first of all, Brian, good, good to see you and thanks for having me on. Um, it's a very complex job market. Uh, I think the layoffs in tech, uh, like a company like Salesforce that announces that they're laying off 700 people, are still hiring 1,000 other people. Um, so there's clearly a changing of their overall staffing in the IT space. Um, but healthcare uh, still still is strong. You know, healthcare, healthcare is still in our top three areas that the recruiters are recruiting for, followed by IT and sales. Nice to see that sales is up there. I think there's still this notion of if I need to come up with really good earnings, uh, the fastest way to do that was really to was really to lay off staff and to uh, reduce my overall operating expenses. I think we're going to see uh, that growth in sales. Uh, really nice to see that. Uh, because once I'm done making cut, uh, cost cutting measures, the next is really to grow my revenues. And how do I do that but through sales? Yeah, and I think you nailed it on, on the job market because not only is it just matching talent with companies, which is what you guys do and do very well, but also are you willing to work from home? Are you willing to go into an office? Will you go into an office or will you refuse to go into an office? It used to just be about pay. And I know that's a huge deal still, and it always will be, Evan, but you get my point. There are other things that employers, I'm sure, are asking people right now. A absolutely. You know, a, a really interesting January effect, and I think you nailed it on the head. Uh, we saw a really serious increase, 100% increase in people looking for new experiences. Now, that number went from 8% to 16%, so it's still a relatively no low number. But all of a sudden now, hey, it's the new year, I want a new experience, and it's okay to leave your job. I think what the pandemic really proved is that it's okay to, to leave a job uh, earlier than two years, three years, four years, 10 years. Uh, and so we don't. We believe that that's never gonna change. We're, we believe we're back to where it's okay to leave those jobs. And here you have people going, hey, I don't wanna go back to the office or I want a new experience, let me go find a job. A really interesting statistic, there you go, you put it right up here now. 41% of the recruiters of the survey, of the recruiter index survey, said that 75 to 100% of their candidates are currently employed. Uh, that's a pretty sizable number. Um, so that means that we're pulling people out of other companies in order to fill those roles.